This is what Balance View offers. Introduction, training, and deepening of assurance in our true nature, in the true nature of our mind. This isn't um, a philosophical abstraction. It's not something to think about. This is in your own direct experience. You can introduce yourself to open intelligence right now. You just stop thinking for a moment. Notice what remains. Brightness, alertness, clarity, cognizance, the power to know, your power to know, open intelligence, open like sky, not limited. <laughs> Openly perceiving everything, don't you see that? All the data streams, thoughts, emotions, experiences, naturally, spontaneously arising in this moment, resolving back into open intelligence, effortlessly, <laughs> at in total ease. The descriptions we apply upon our experience now, that's up to us. And I had learnt a whole way of describing certain thoughts, emotions, feelings, situations that fell into the category of uncomfortable, <laughs> you could say. Negative, not something that I meant to want or meant to welcome or receive openly or allow to be as they are allowed to rest in open intelligence, rest in themselves naturally as it is. Expectations are a perfect example. I love that example. I actually just listened to something from another trainer about expectations this morning, so thank you for that question. Because I've been directly supported by the four mainstays of balance for you to respond. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's amazing to hear, you know, just the, the natural wisdom of each other when we, when we rest as open intelligence, when we rely on short moments of open intelligence. So this is the practice, short moments of open intelligence, short moments of recognizing open intelligence, repeated many times until open intelligence is obvious. So practically, what does that look like? Expectation arises, I totally understand. I have so many. <laughs> and, um, and we have a choice. We, we have an hour choice, we can completely relax, we can allow that expectation just to be as it is, an appearance in our intelligence, and allow it to flow on by, and it resolves on its own, you see. The expectation you had a moment ago is really gone. There might be a new one there, <laughs> but that previous one has just resolved back into pure openness, into open intelligence. And, um, and so applying you know, resting, resting naturally as expectations arise. I'd really trained myself to give so much emphasis and weight to expectations. Here it comes, and until this expectation is fulfilled, I can't find well-being and I won't be happy. <laughs> Basically, this is what this sort of appearance is here to tell me. It's here to, I need to make this true in order to just be okay. And um, I'm really what we find is resting, that we can just allow it to be as it is, and it's equally arising in open intelligence. There's immediate relief there, even in just resting, in relaxing with it. And what, what opens up is this vantage from, from resting as open intelligence and a relaxation, and really seeing what's needed in a situation and what will serve, and also seeing that expectations come, Maybe they're fulfilled, maybe they're not. Disappointment comes. <laughs> open intelligence remains. Open intelligence is constant, stable. And it's an incredible support there in um, having a stable ground in every moment. And really seeing, I can see in the expectations for me, basically um, feeling like it was just a complete barrier to say in a relationship, an expectation comes like wanting your partner or your friend to like respond in a certain way and then they, they don't. <laughs> or, and then feeling like that's a complete barrier to open-hearted relating because now I'm disappointed and this means X, Y, Z, da, da. And so just, just resting naturally and really stopping describing and allowing everything to be as it is and relying on open intelligence opens up a new field 
of relating, like a complete openness. And seeing that open intelligence is unaffected by expectations and each moment really fresh and new. It's a great relief rather than trying to haul back in that expectation in order to give it more power, thinking that it has an independent power over me. Instead, there's more and more just natural rest, clear seeing, actually choosing how I do want to relate because expectations used to bring me into all sort of uncomfortable and difficult situations and withdrawing and just you know, really indulging and going into the story and now just rest. There's, a, there's an opportunity to rely on short moments of open intelligence and approach situations fresh and new, not dictated by our thoughts and emotions. And the, the way to, to bring this about I, is practicing. Practicing short moments many times and also all of the incredible support of the Balance You training, taking up trainings to really empower this recognition for ourselves, seeing what's at the basis of every perception. These um, descriptions that, and thoughts and ideas and everything is equally pervaded by open intelligence. This is what's primary in every data stream. And so bringing our attention to it in short moments again and again and testing this for yourself so the next time expectations arise, seeing that there's a choice to either go in there and indulge it or avoid it or try and replace it with something better or just to completely rest mind and body. It feels radical. It is radical. <laughs> it's, it, it was new for me. And... Um, and very naturally, I, I wanted to be supported in that. Very quickly, I saw, like Candice spoke in the talk, there's, there's immediate benefit present for us in every single moment, regardless of if we've labeled something as positive or negative. When we rest naturally and openly, there's immediate benefit. We test that out, test it out right now, completely relax. Allow the current thought just to be as it is, flow on by, resolve like mist in the air, Make no effort to change the flow of mind, the flow of data streams. And um, just to test that through your day and see for yourself how that is. Today we have a one day introductory training for anyone who would like to see practically how to bring this, bring this about in your everyday lived experience. And then also starting next week, we have the 12 Empowerments Training, which in my experience was like a, the, the profound shift, you could say, in, in really seeing how open intelligence is, is present in, in all areas of life. And what does that look like? It looks like less and less living through the limitation of what I've taken to be true about my thoughts and emotions a more and more open relationality with myself and others, living in the way that I really wanted to, freely. You know, not withdrawing due to negative thoughts and emotions or chasing after positive ones, but increasingly finding there's this empowerment available in every moment in the, in the data stream as it is, in open intelligence and resting there naturally. And this is all, you know, everything is just completely available to anyone, however much you'd like to take up.